Welcome, Leo, all my beautiful lions. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the week of March the 4th to March the 11th, 2019. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your interest in my channel, for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please be sure to click the like button and the bell button and you'll get notified immediately when these cards go out on YouTube. You'll also get notified when I go out live on Google Hangouts where I do the daily energy cards for all the zodiac signs and I am open to answer questions to people that come into my chat room. So please be sure to check me out and click a reminder when I post the event that I'm going out on to Google Hangouts live. I don't do that uh, on a regular basis, but um, if you click the bell button, you will get notifications. So, the all over energy here, my beautiful, uh, my beautiful lions, is that you have to realize this is a general reading. And not every card will resonate with every Leo out there. But if it does, run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions then click the button up there on the right hand side of the video and you'll be taken to my website where you can see the services that I offer. Well my beautiful lions your energy this week the card you've been given my friends is strength and this is all about digging deep this is about inner strength okay this is about knowing that if you treat life in a more positive way or any challenging situations in a more loving gentler way you'll be able to get farther towards your goals uh, that you're pursuing. And, you know, you can see her here. She's got a lion, but she's treating the lion. And, you know, even in this one, he's riding the tiger. And he's, ha and she, or she is, and she's having absolutely no problem doing that. And she's tamed the beast. So this is all about knowing, I love the infinity sign over her head, that, you know, it's inner strength. It's being able to deal with any challenges in a more kinder, compassionate, uh, compromising manner. Being more understanding, looking at all, uh, thinking about things uh, more logically and, and being more uh, aware of the energy around you and how to deal with the situation or the person and why they're bringing this energy forward. What's, you know, triggered that and brought it forward. So it's honey instead of vinegar when it comes to attracting bees, as I've always said. So this is about inner strength, beautiful card. Um, about dealing with any challenges. You need to let go of any harsh judgment you carry or you harbor within your own soul and heart towards others in order to deal with any forgiveness uh, uh, issues in your life as well. So it's about releasing any harsh judgments. It is about forgiveness and it is about compassion. So you may be this week confronted with someone and you, it becomes a little challenging and you have to deal with this. So it's, I do see you communicating. I do see you having a conversation about this. I do see you setting things straight and, you know, making a level fair uh, um, uh, playground here in order to deal with any challenges. All right, let's go to the beginning of our week. You have been given the Page of Pentacles, and then this is the Page of Earth. And this Page of Pentacles brings in a message, and it's usually a message about finances, good finances and money. And this is what this is about. It's about good news about financial matters. I do see that some of you, uh, the person, you may know this person, the person that brings this in, uh, maybe a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn that brings this message to you. Now, some of you may be wanting to do something different uh, you may be wanting to do something more challenging when it comes to your work. Uh, you may be going back to school. You may be taking a new topic, a new subject that's going to enhance your income, that's going to benefit you lucratively, that's going to increase your bank account, and therein brings you all this wonderful, wonderful abundance. So there is going to be a message coming into you. Some of you will be receiving something in writing or maybe a phone call. It could be social media. It could be, you know, via the computer, the internet, whatever. I do see that you've been putting your feelers out. You 
you've been working towards a goal here, uh, a passion here, and you're going to be getting this information coming in. So it's all good news. You're going to be hearing about a good news coming in when it comes to money and finances. Somebody, Some of you may have been um, waiting for a settlement. Some of you may have been waiting for, uh, you know, um, an inheritance or, that you know you're, you have coming in. And Leo is coming. Okay, you're going to hear about good news coming in. Maybe some of you have looked towards taking out a business loan, an education loan, something where you needed money, or you're going to have the money therein to put down on property or something. But I do see you're going to hear about good news uh, for money coming into some of you. Now, look at this. Leo, you got the lovers. I mean, this is such a beautiful card. This is all about, you know, feeling drawn to another and making a choice to be with someone for the rest of your life. It's, it shows me that some of you are wanting this. You're wanting the commitment. You're wanting this union. It's all about, uh, you know, knowing that when this is coming into you divinely being led to some of you, uh, it's like heaven sent, this, this relationship. Um, and it's all about, you know, your heart rules your head right now. Uh, or you want to be in love and escape the doubts and fears and inhibitions of the world around you. So it's also, this card also asks you to be more aware of who you are and what values you place in a love relationship. So, you know, when you're dealing with someone that you want to have a commitment from, you, you're going to be spending a lot of time with. Uh, you know, it's not about you just being yourself anymore and being responsible just for yourself and your own decisions and choices. You will now have to couple this up. You will now have to be together, putting your heads together as a union, as a bond, as a twosome. And, you know, two heads are better than one, as they say, but not stepping out independently and continuing forward. It's being considerate with your partner here and realizing that, you know, you can have this dream. This is about making choices and making sure you've made the right choice with who you want to do this with. This is long term here. This is divinely sent to you. You've been waiting for this lover to come in. You've been waiting for this soulmate or this twin flame, whatever you want, uh, is coming in. I'm really happy for some of you, Leos. I do see this coming to fruition. I do see some of you. This is happening. And it's a beautiful card, a beautiful positive card. You know, I talk about all the yellow that's on a card and the blue to do with the sun or the sky. It's all good. You know, you, 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 you have mountains to climb. You know, it's going to be like a, a volcano going off when this person comes into your life. It's just going to be fabulous. Leo. You've been given for your final card, the Emperor. And the Emperor is all about how you're going to be dealing with things. And perhaps it has to do with you being strong here when it comes to any challenges. You're going to have to be organized and logical and structured and disciplined when you're dealing with anything this week. But it shows me that you can step up, my friend. You can step up and be a leader. This is Archangel Michael. He is the leader. He is the conqueror. He's the door keeper. He's, you know, he's, he keeps the, the wolf off your door and protects you. You're going to be able to have this confidence to do the same. This is all about uh, doing things proper and by the book, okay? Uh, this isn't taking risks. This isn't winging it. This is about knowing your direction, setting the goal, and working towards it in a proper way. So I do see, Leo, that you're going to be doing this. You're going to be stepping forward. You may be dealing with some uh, situations where you have to bite your tongue. You have to take a deep breath, step back, look at the whole picture, and then say, mm -hmm, yeah, I, you know what? I'm going to be structured, and you know, I'm going to take the leadership role, but I'm going to set an example here and not go out here with my guns blazing. So money coming in, beautiful card. You're going, some of you are going to, this is a beautiful, beautiful heaven sent uh, uh, partner that's coming in, love, love partner, potential partner, uh, potential lover. This is beautiful. And of course, the emperor, doing things by the book, doing things logical, thinking things through in an intelligent way, not taking risks, not jumping into the quicksand with both feet and wondering how you're going to swim out of it. He's very controlled. He knows what it is he wants, and he's very, very organized when he steps forward towards his goal. Now, I'm doing things a little different here, Leo. I'm adding a, a confirmation cards in, an, in conjunction with the cards that are here, and I have chosen the Gilded Reverie Lennerman. And I love these cards. I really do. So we're going to add some other cards along with the cards that are here. So they're telling me to shuffle one more time. Okay. Alrighty. So let's see what we've got here for the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Earth. Hearing about that good news. Okay. Now let's see what we've got here for the lovers. 
Okay, we've got two, and I'm going to take those two because they didn't come out of there for no reason at all. Alrighty, so we need a card for the Emperor. Let's have a card for the Emperor to tie in this reading for this week. Well, there we go. Okay, we're good. So, for this page of Pentacles, okay, this person is coming in with this information about good news. For some reason, you have reason to doubt them. Okay, you don't think they're telling you the truth, okay, because this is someone wearing a mask. They may say one thing and mean another, but it may be just you losing faith, okay, because this is a positive card that this news is coming in. So trust your, trust this individual bringing you the news that it is legitimate, okay. I do not see this as someone wearing a mask. I do not see this as someone who is not being honest because this card is a good card, okay. So don't, don't get bent out of shape. If you should doubt this, Okay, it's almost like someone saying, oh my God, you won a lottery, and you go, oh, I don't think so, and you find out you did, okay? So, what I'm saying is, you can trust this page, okay? This page, you know, like I say, he may be someone that reminds you of someone else who may be, uh, you know, who may be uh, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn that, you know, you're not happy with, but... I do feel that, you know, this person is being honest when they come through with this information about good news coming in to do with money. Now, the other card you got here, when it came to the lovers, is you got, <laughs> it figures, you got the, the, uh, the fox. And the fox is all about someone who's crafty, someone who's worked his, his uh, he's been able to work and, and, and survive uh, and get what he wants. So be careful, be careful who's coming into, you know, who's, who's filling your head with all this beautiful, beautiful love talk, um, you know, you may have to, you may have to uh, really step back and, and, and look at the whole picture here. I know this is divinely sent. I know this is heaven sent. For some of you, it's going to be an amazing, re uh, amazing love uh, that's coming in, a partner, a soulmate, uh, you know, a twin flame, but there may be others that someone's coming in or now they just told me third party. Someone else might want you as well and they're going to try to stir the pot up or they might want your partner coming in. So be careful of this crafty, crafty person coming in, this sneaky person that's maybe behind your back spreading gossip or maybe uh, has to look over their shoulder because they're not totally honest, okay? They've learned their skills well uh, to survive out there and it isn't always a very good way to live your life. Now, you did get the clock, and the clock means, uh, you know, you may have lots of time, some of you, to get uh, this this going, uh, this wedding. You may be planning, and then there's going to be others that are on a deadline, and you have to get this wedding going quick, or this, uh, you know, this commitment going quick, or this moving in together quick. So this is, can go two ways. Time's on your side, or you've got a deadline here that some of you will have to step up to uh, and get moving on that. Now, with the Emperor, the Emperor, you've been given the bridges, and there's two bridges here, and the Emperor is very logical. I mean, it, he's had bridges to cross, but you know what? At the end of the day, he said, well, if I can't go one way, I'm going to build my own bridge, and I'm going to be able to cross over where I need to go, and this is about you having the resources now to move forward because you're logical. You're organized. You are the leader here, so you have the ability now. You're going to have bridges to cross, and they were tough, but now they're getting easier. You, you know, it's like you say, well, you know what? If I can't get maneuver my way or traverse my way around this situation or where I'm going, I'll find another way to do it. And that's what this beautiful emperor is about, okay? He's logical. He's organized. He figures out how he can move forward on his path. And this is confirming that you're going to be able to do that as well, my beautiful lions. Let's see what we have from the Ascended Masters. Uh, you've got artistic expression. And this tells me that some of you need to start adding this into your life again, incorporating it. Maybe some of you put that violin or that guitar in the back of the closet and, you know, you're hearing and you're seeing and you're thinking, ah, oh, I wish I was still doing that. Or some of you are going to go, they just showed me a piano. Some of you may be buying a piano and getting into taking lessons or just showing your artistic expression. Others, you may be actually putting a pen to paper or a paintbrush to, to an easel. Uh, some of you may be singing, dance, any type of artistic expression that you feel you want to demonstrate. Go out there and do it. Okay, go out there and express it because this is the Ascended Master saying, you need to do this. You need to enjoy. You have an innate talent that can come out. So, enjoy it. Now, the art, saints and angels, you've been given commitment. So I do see a commitment coming in here with this here. Uh, yeah, some of you have to watch. There's someone else might, might want what you've got stepping in. They're very sneaky here. But I do see this beautiful commitment coming in. I do see that, you know, money is uh, money's coming into you as well. Uh, you're going to get the commitment of 
good finances, and you're going to get the commitment of love in your life for some of you. Beautiful, beautiful message. Well, my beautiful lions, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week to look forward to here with this reading, okay? So I'll go over this. I'll briefly go over this again. So, you know, this... This, this uh, beautiful uh, Page of Pentacles is coming in, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, to bring you good news about finances, okay? Uh, this may be you as well, just receiving those finances. But you know what? Don't, you may have a reason to doubt that this isn't happening to you, but I get the message that they're not two-faced, that, um, you know, you can trust them. They're not wearing a mask. Now, when it came to this beautiful lover's card and commitment coming in, and I told you, it's divinely sent. It's heaven sent. Some of you, may time may be running out on this. You've got to move forward quickly. And others, you're going to have lots of time to do this. But I do see deadline here, they tell me. So some of you may be working towards a wedding quick, uh, you know, or buying a house quick or whatever together. But be careful. There may be a third party here. I do not feel that it is this love, this this potential lover uh, or partner coming in here. I think there's a third party here that isn't happy because you are, and they may want to come in and stir the pot up. So just keep your eyes open, okay? Now, again, with the Emperor, you're logical, you're organized, you're you're going to be able to do things uh, and be, step up and be a leader because you have the ability. If one way doesn't work, my beautiful uh, Leos, you're going to make sure it does. You're going to build another bridge, you're going to find another way, you're going to traverse the terrain and, and maneuver your way around to get where you need to go towards your goals successfully. Beautiful card. Know the commitment's coming in. Don't be afraid to show your, your beautiful artistic expression here. I wish you a great remainder to today. Stay strong, my beautiful Leos, but do it with love, compassion, understanding, and compromise. See you soon, and know that I continue to stand in this circle of love and light for you always, my lions.